Hello boys and girls, and welcome to another lesson of science in daily life in the grade 7 classroom. My name is Miss Freeman and I'm here to take you on a journey in exploring the solar system. Now, before we do that, boys and girls, can you recall what we did in our last session? Yes, we made a homemade barometer. Now, today, boys and girls, our objectives are, one, to define what is meant by the term solar system, and two, to identify the members that are found in the solar system. Now, what is a solar system? The solar system is made up of a collection of eight planets that revolves around the sun in a circular path. However, it used to be nine planets, but now Pluto is considered to no longer be a planet. So boys and girls, you heard correct, there are eight planets, and a solar system is a collection of those eight planets that revolves around the sun in a circular path. Who are the members of the solar system? We have, boys and girls, one, the sun, two, the planets, three, asteroids, four, comets, five, meteors, six, meteorites, seven, satellites. Let us start with the sun. The sun is our very own star. The sun is in the center of our solar system. The word solar means of the sun. Our sun is a medium-sized star. Here, boys and girls, is an image of our sun. Let us move right on into the planets. Boys and girls, can you list or can you name the planets found in the solar system? The planets found in the solar system are one, Mercury, two, Venus, three, Earth, four, Mars, five, Jupiter, six, Saturn, seven, Uranus, eight, Neptune. An easier way in which we can remember the planets is by using an acronym or a rhyme. Here today, students, I have for you two acronyms or rhymes used to remember our planet, or the planets found in the solar system. First, let us start with number one. My very educated mother just served us noodles. As you can see, what we did there, boys and girls, is that we used the first letter of each word to represent the first letter of each planet. Again, my very educated mother just served us noodles. It's simply saying Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. The second rhyme that we have is Mary very early make Jean shake up Nellie. Again, boys and girls, Mary, very early, make Jean shake up Nellie. Again, it's representing Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Now, boys and girls, let us dive into the second member of the solar system. We have asteroids. What are asteroids? Asteroids are very small, rocky bodies that orbit the sun. Asteroid means starlight, and in a telescope, asteroids look like a point of light, just like stars. Asteroids are irregular in shape. Now, boys and girls, if you are to look at the sky through a telescope, 
these asteroids will also look like stars and they'll be twinkling at us. So we might be confused and maybe say they are considered to be stars as well, but they are actually asteroids there. Now, the next member that we have of the solar system is called comets. Comets are small, icy objects that orbit around the sun. Here, boys and girls, you can see an image of a comet. The next member that we have is called a meteor. A meteor is a streak of light across the sky. Boys and girls, have you ever, maybe in the nighttime, before you go to your bed, you take a look at the sky and you say, you know what, you see a shooting star. Now, that shooting star is actually a meteor. Most of the time, they're actually small pieces of matter burning up as they enter Earth's atmosphere from space. Meteors are called meteoroids before they reach the Earth's atmosphere. The next member that we have is called meteorites. Although most meteors burn up in the atmosphere, larger meteoroids may strike the Earth's surface to create a meteorite. So there are three terms we have there we need to be careful of. Meteor, meteorites, and meteorite. A meteor, boys and girls, is when we have that object in the Earth's atmosphere, and it's burning up and it's causing that flare. A meteoroid, it's when it's in the into space and it's just moving along. A meteorite is when it lands on Earth's surface. So there, those are the three terms we need to be very careful of. Now, meteorites are valuable to scientists because they provide clues about our solar system. Right here on Earth, we have different meteorites up for exhibition that tourists can go and have a look at. Now, another member of the solar system is satellite. What is a satellite? Now, a satellite is a body that orbits around another body in space. There are two different types of satellites. You have one, natural, and two, artificial. Natural be meaning it's there as its own, and artificial simply saying it's man-made. Some examples of natural satellites are the Earth and the Moon. The Earth rotates around the Sun, and the Moon rotates around the Earth. Dear boys and girls, we can see that a satellite is a body that orbits around another body in space. Now, boys and girls, let us talk a little bit about artificial satellites. An artificial satellite is a man-made machine that is made and it's put into the Earth's atmosphere. Some examples of man-made satellites are 1. The Hubble Space Telescope and 2. The International Space Station. Artificial satellites have many practical applications. They are used for forecasting weather, transmitting television and radio signals, and also used for telecommunications. Today, we identified the different members of the solar system, and we looked a little bit more as to what each one means. Do join me for another lesson as we explore more on the different planets found in the solar system. I am Miss Riemann, and until next time, bye-bye.